Okay, 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 okay. I have to be honest, guys, with you. I'm just in the last 100 kilometers of Camino de Santiago. Buen Camino. From Saria to Santiago. <laughs> um, just imagine the situation. You are the Saturday, Saturday midday. You go for a shopping to the biggest uh, supermarket in the neighborhood. And that's exactly what it is now. I think I've counted 10,000 people in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, guys. It's, it's so different. I don't say it's good or bad because who am I to judge? But it's so different from the normal Camino, from the, if you come from Saint Jean Pierre de Port, if you're coming from any other direction. So if just look at that. And look at the back. Um, so just want to tell you one thing. If you ever, if you ever, 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 ever imagine walking the Camino de Santiago, please avoid June, July from Saria to Santiago. There's an alternative route that you can take from Ponferrada that goes the Camino, the Camino de Invierno, it's called. It'll be much easier, less busy, less people, because this was going on here. <laughs> Ay, buen camino. Uh, anyways, that was a quick update just to tell you that, and actually it comes, it leads me to a decision. Uh, hey, Stu. Wow. No, this is now, it's crazy. I promise you, don't even come here now. And September is going to be a bit less busy. But I'm just surprised because all the... Suddenly, I thought that everyone came to the same conclusion and they decide, let's go to do the Camino de Santiago. Seems like. Um, but I came to this conclusion actually that it, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like if you start from Staria to Santiago and your objective is to, to do this part, perfect. Do it, enjoy it and, and live the experience. But if your objective is to know real the, the pilgrim site of Camino Santiago, I don't think that's the best way you can get to know the culture. Uh, thank you, Stu. <laughs> thank you, Stu. I hope that your, that your journey will be really nice. You start in September, no? Where are you starting from? Just put it in down. And the comment, maybe Saint Jean Pierre de Port, Pamplona. Let me know, man. And if I can help you somehow. Saint Jean, good man. <laughs> starting from Saint Jean, this is a full immersion experience. Eh? I figure out that we all, that's necessary actually to to do it after a month Camino to, to come to the society, to go out of this. <laughs> but um, this necessary, this part. But don't be worried, it's not going to be as busy. Uh, wow, look at that man. I actually have to make stops just to avoid people. Like it's getting too crowded, so I have to stop, wait until everyone passes by, and then I can just feel this kind of one meter distance. <laughs> Chris. That leads me to the decision that I have enough of it. I really have enough of it. I came to understand the, the, the spirit of Camino, the, the solitude, the, and that I have enough. So I'm going home. I'm getting to the Palace del Rey. I take a bus to Santiago and, and it's enough. Probably I will go uh, to do this thing in next, I don't know, next time. Maybe not in July and August and maybe not in May. Or maybe I will just be better prepared 
and I will handle people more. Ah, crazy stuff. Eh? Anyways, just a quick update from here. Uh, don't get scared, guys. They are just those specific moments. Look at this in the front, in the back. Actually, you're really lucky because I've chosen the moment not with many people to do this, to talk to you. So otherwise, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Thousands, thousands, thousands. And I don't even want to imagine how many is going to be on the 25th of this month. <sighs> Fingers crossed. If you're doing the Camino, be patient. Remember, the Camino teaches you important lesson. And this could be a lesson as well. For me, it's a lesson because I know when to stop. And this is my stop. I go to Palace de Rey, I take a bus, I go to Santiago and just think about different Camino. Oh, it's true. Maybe one day you will be on the Camino, who knows? Thank you for. Thank you, brother. Eh? Thank you. I'm. Uh, I bet you're gonna enjoy it, man. I bet. Remember, remember, please, to take the stone with you if if you're in need. The stone that will represent something really important. And then, once you get to cruise the ferro, you place it there. Um, so it's more than just a journey. It's a significant journey that that can change your life. So use it as best as you can. Kisses, I'm going because I cannot walk and talk at the same time, I promise you. Bye-bye. Um,